Welcome back, Akron fans, to another exhibition match. This time we're going to be watching Monkey once again fighting against Cybernetic Pony once again on Overgrown Citadel. And one thing on this map you may notice, I'm Shadow 33 your commentator, by the way, just in case I forgot to point that out, which I did. Let us begin, and one thing you will notice very first is rain. And you may have seen my patch overview video for version 1.6. And I pointed out all the rain and particle effects and a bunch of other particle effects in other levels. Of course, the player's pausing does mean we see the individual rain droplets just sort of hanging in the sky like this. Anyway, Monkey going for Vecchio's normal cybernetic pony. We'll see if he's going for Grekum or CISO. And he is going for CISO this time around. So yeah, rain is now a thing. Rain, snow, sand, god rays. If you're curious about the last one, watch the overview video that's on my channel. You can watch that patch overview video. You see what all the things that came up, all the different particle, a bunch of different particle effect examples that you can do. And this, anyway, starting out. So Monkuki going, sorry, Cybernetic Pony going for an armory. Monkuki going very quickly for nothing at all except RPs because, see, the thing with CISO now, as of version 1.5.3, they start with an importer rather than an armory, which means that you have to build an armory or a factory depending on which one you want to start out with. And it looks like. Cybernetic Pony is going to be focusing very early on early infantry. And as we can see, CISO infantry actually do a great job dealing with the Vecchio infantry, stopping Monkuki from setting up his foundation rush, which would have been a really nice thing to have, but no, he doesn't have that available. So with that, it's going to be a bit of a trick. He actually has to go for something different. I mean, he might go around the north side and try to do the foundation rush that way. We'll see what happens, but... Okay, okay. chat pointing out the last game was all about Vekir, and apparently I got so excited because all about Vekir, because I main Vekir, and... Okay, yes, that's true. I did get really excited about that fact. I haven't seen a Vekir mirror in a very long time. I haven't seen Shin Pulsers in ever. I haven't seen Shin Halcyons in ever, though admittedly that was the game prior. And... Of course I'm going to be excited. And why shouldn't I be excited? I'm, I, I mean, if I'm casting the game, I need to be excited. Come on, that's... What's the point of casting a game if you're not excited about it? But back to the actual game in question. Monkuki apparently is, yeah, focusing very heavily more on economy. Cybernetic Pony did get that early armory, and I'm expecting, like I said, a heavy infantry focus. And actually, nicely done, Monkuki is going along the north side of the map, and he will be likely building up some foundations. Overgrown Citadel is a very small map, as you can pretty clearly see. The ex main bases to the west and east. There are some expansions to the south and to the north, as well as a bunch of QP crates in the center and the north, southwest, northeast. And a factory being built, proxy factory for Mon Kuki, and I expect proxy foundations from Cybernetic Pony. I do not see them. I am mildly disappointed. Where are the proxy foundations? Although admittedly at this point, regular foundations would probably be all he needs. Mon Kuki hasn't gotten auto defense either, and it looks like Cybernetic Pony, this, he is focusing very heavily on this proxy here. He does, he has no importer though. Mon Kuki has gotten rid of that importer. An armory still exists, but no importer means no non-mech units for Cybernetic Pony. And that's going to be a problem. And there goes Mon Kuki's base is going down very quickly to Cybernetic Pony. I think Cybernetic Pony is... I think he's taking this game. Mon Kuki does have a chance, though. He still has some, uh, he has still some playable pass to work with. He can go back and try to deal with this proxy. But it's going to be difficult to do. I suppose auto defense is his only real hope, but even then, that's going to be tricky. The annex would probably kill off the infantry in time. I mean, it needs to do about 35 hits. I think it has time to do that. I think that would take about a minute and a half or so. And there goes down to foundation. No auto defense though, but the foundation will heal up this Zion Veer and distract the infantry. The Zion Veer apparently died regardless. Yeah, it's gone. That Zion Veer did nothing. Monkuki jumping back about 30 seconds down from even that. Has already got a foundation built up, and a Zion Veer is already in place to defend. And Zion Veer taking a lot of damage despite the foundation. The foundation not healing up in time. The Marine and Special Ops deal a huge amount of damage per shot. So I'm not surprised at all by this, even with the foundation. Now, foundation and auto defense, that might actually do something. Though, even then, that's a little bit tricky. Even then, I don't know. That's That would be a tricky thing to do, to try to pull off. But I think that it's Monkuki's only hope. Honestly, I think Monkuki. He has the foundation set up. They aren't healing a Zion Beer in time, but with auto defense, he might have a chance. That's a pretty big might, but like I said, it's the only chance he's got. And Cybernetic Pony is, like I said, losing his importer. He does actually he doesn't have the proxy build up quite yet, but he will soon. 
There's the Marine going building that proxy factory. And actually, separating Pony's point of view. Yeah, there goes that in that proxy factory. The 158 mark now. And I think that Mon Cookie has pretty much lost all hope. Everything he could do has fallen into the unplayable past, and everything in the playable past is not working out in his favor. So that's pretty much game. Yeah. Well. Guess it's kind of. Uh, Saturday Night Pony is kind of raining on Mon Cookie's parade, I'm afraid. But that's what happens in a small map like this. You gotta be careful for little rushes like that. I mean, CISO's proxies. I actually haven't really seen CISO do a proxy like this in a while. And the last time I saw it was on Tomb of Heroes, which is a pretty large map. Nothing like Overgrown Citadel at all. So, admittedly, Overgrown Citadel is a bit more something you'd expect. You'd expect proxy on this map. Now, like I say, auto defense would be a great idea because not a lot of damage is being dealt to this annex. At this point, it's probably too late. I don't know if. I don't think Monkuki can actually recover from this. But still, auto defense would be quite powerful. It would probably get rid of these guys here. And Zion Beer has been built up to try to finish them off. Not doing enough really should have been auto defense. Another Zion Beer in production, and that annex. Monkuki's one of you. Another Zion Beer probably won't do it. Getting rid of. Actually, no, it does do it! Holy crap! Getting rid of the two infantry. And trying to get rid of the mech. It's not going to, though. That mech will finish the job. I did not expect to ever say this because mechs are pretty much dedicated anti air units. But yes, this mech will win the game for Cybernetic Pony. He has gotten rid of Monkuki's annex, and that's all that Monkuki had going for him. He has. Actually, he could build a foundation over here trying to complete the base trade, but that's basically it. So yeah, that's game. That's a short game, mind you, only about six and a half minutes long, but not a whole lot Monkuki can do, and this is Monkuki's point of view as well. He has a foundation being built up, he is trying to take this over, and his foundation is stopping him from losing the game outright, but he has no auto defense, and this foundation is going to go down now. Yep, that's his game. And Annex being built up on it though, he is trying his best to get out of this, and it is taking a lot of damage, not enough to kill it. It will get constructed before it dies, but even with that, it's just gonna be just too much. I just don't see how that's gonna work out. I really don't see how that's supposed to work out. Though, an RP going towards the north, trying to escape away from the main base, another one going towards the south, once again trying to escape. Monkuki trying his absolute hardest to get out of this. I'm guessing he'll be building a, Shin, a Zion Veer pretty soon. But that won't be enough. That's really not going to be enough. This is game. And so, I guess lesson is, if you want to beat Mon Cookie, go for a very quick proxy attack. When he's planning on going for a very quick proxy attack. <clears throat> At least a CISO. I'm not sure about Grekum. But definitely a CISO. And that will pretty much be it. There it goes. That is it. Mon Cookie throws in the towel. And that is our game. I hope you enjoyed that. And that will be it for me tonight. So thank you all for watching, and have a good night, everybody.